guys, this is Shanti and you're watching me on my YouTube channel, The Layavi. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you my first impressions on the Urban Decay's Born to Run eyeshadow palette. If you're someone who is contemplating whether you want to get this eyeshadow palette or not, then you, this is the video that you have to watch. If you're watching me and this video for the first time, hi, hello, my name is Shanti. I'm from Singapore. I usually create content about makeup tutorial, beauty product reviews, digital tools, and productivity tips. And while you're here, may I suggest that you take a quick minute to click on the subscribe button right down this video and make sure to click on the bell next to it just so that you'll be updated and notified whenever new videos go up on my channel like this. And if you're keen to know about my first impressions on the Urban Decay's Born to Run eyeshadow palette, then please keep on watching. In case you're wondering why I'm dressed like this, I just got back home from my daughter's school, the Hari Raya celebrations, post celebrations at the kinder today because I went to help out at the school. This, this is the cardboard packaging. It has a lot of information on the back. I believe it's stated somewhere around here that it this palette holds 21 shadows and each of the shadows contains 0.80 grams of product in this. These are somewhat swatches as you may call them. They are not the exact swatches. Some of them I believe they have shimmer and some are matte. There is an expiration date indicated on the back of the eyeshadow palette. There's a small sticker that says expiry 022021. So this palette could last us for at least about three years from now. So this is the palette. Let's have a look at the palette. I have to say that the weight on Urban Decay palettes are of a, a lot more luxe weight to it. It's more weighty than regular eyeshadow palettes that you would get from the drugstore. That's one of the things that I like and this like most of the time I'm pretty sure that there's going to be a full length mirror on this one. Obviously it's going to be helping me when I'm going to be applying eyeshadow straight from the palette and I don't have to reach for another mirror so to speak i have a full length mirror already over here it is quite scary if my little girl were to get hold of this and she toss around the room or if she drops this and the mirror or the eyeshadows crack so will my heart and that's one of the frightening parts about owning a high-end palette like this is that they are exposed to a lot of danger from a six-year-old. I will be honest guys, I am not really someone who lasts over the eyeshadow palettes just because of the eyeshadow colors. I solely wrapped this palette only because, only because of him and oh my god, if Avi I were to see this palette, she'll be so happy. She's someone who's like a legendary figure in Tamil mythology and she's a huge huge fan of Lord Murugan and she'll be so proud of you Urban Decay. Well done. Murga. Murga. I am really happy to report that there are a lot more brands that are coming up with inclusivity to include all bases. I'm all out for Lord Murugan. If you don't know who he is, he's actually the younger brother of Lord Ganesha. But that's my first impression. I absolutely love this palette because I feel like there's a lot of inclusivity pasted all over the palette. The idea behind this eyeshadow palette is that when you're traveling from one country to another, you don't need to carry a lot of eyeshadow palettes with you. When you open up, you're going to be seeing this huge mirror over here. I don't want to blind you with my ring light so you have a really big space of mirror and then it opens up to 21 eyeshadows that looks like this and you have your preferred browns, there's a little bit of purples, there's a little bit of smokiness that you can create. If you look closely you can use them as a duo, probably you can just get a wash of color and another mobile color or you can also use them as a quad and there's actually a lot of looks that you can come up with this palette because I feel like it's so versatile. I would love for a makeup brand to come up with the Indian themed eyeshadow palette. Can you imagine an eyeshadow palette that says like maybe all black MAC and it says like unleash your inner Shakti or reveal your inner Lakshmi, show your inner Saraswati or something of that sort. If you feel like I'm talking in circles it's only because it's been a very early day for me and I just got my breakfast in. I don't want I have a first impression where I actually try out the eyeshadows on my bare eyelids. I'm not a really huge fan of finger swatches. I've told this time and again and again. A swatch on your finger may definitely look amazing, spectacular, wonderful, ooh la la. And then when you pick up a brush and you try to attempt to get the same quality of swatch, it just doesn't transfer onto a brush. I'll definitely be sure to swatch the eyeshadows on, on my arm, like finger swatches, and I'll put a link to the blog post if it's up already. Today, I'm just going to be talking to you solely about how I feel about the eyeshadow collection. I feel like there's a pretty good range of color, undertones, and the types of uh, cool, and there's a little bit of warms and purples, and there are mattes somewhere around here, and I also see a matte 
deep orange and a brown over here this black over here is not a black matte which i'm not really mad because i feel like a very dark black matte would be a little bit more harder to blend out because it can really turn into a hot mess in a very quick second i will be experimenting with a few colors i gotta say that i am liking this palette at the first sight and there are a lot of fun colors i feel like big sky could be a really fun color and i can definitely see myself playing with a lot of colors from this section for the month of october which is halloween so to begin with i do want to start with a transition color i so for the first shade i'm going to be picking up weekender which is a very bone type of color i think i want to go for still shot which is this very pale peachy color just to go quite close onto my crease area just for a little bit of definition I'm taking the same pale coral color beneath my lower lash line. I'm going to be taking a smaller stiff brush and I want to take a little bit of this color called Whip which is a very warm brown. I'm going to be taking a pencil brush, this is from 230 Lux Pencil and I'm going to be taking a little bit of the color Punk which is a very deep chocolatey brown and I'm going to be applying it only on the outer corners of my eyes and inner I like corners. That the eyeshadows are blending very easily, something that I don't see often in a lot of drugstore eyeshadow palettes. These blend very very My ring finger, I'm going to be taking a little bit of Ignite. I'm going to be taking my middle finger over here and I want to try on this color that's called Stranded just in the middle of where I've placed Ignite. I'm going to be going back to my Lux Pencil brush with the same dark chocolatey color that's called Punk and I'm going to be blending out the edges. And the next step is to do some blending. I'm going to be using a fluffy brush like this one and I'm going to be taking the medium brown that's called Viv and I'm going to be blending on the edges. Whatever that's left on the brush, I'm going to be just dragging it along my lower lash line. To further intensify the corners, I do want to try out the black which is called Jet that looks like this. I'm going to be using the same pencil brush and take a little bit of the black and place it onto the outer corners of my eyes and see how they actually blend out. I'm going to be taking this small flat shader brush. I'm going to be taking breakaway on this and place it nicely beneath my brow bone. Let me finish off with my eyeliner and mascara and I'll be right back. And I am really liking how the eyeshadows actually worked in harmony. They had such a sync that they blended effortlessly and I do see myself wearing this eyeshadow a lot more. Surprisingly with this eyeshadow palette, all of the eyeshadows that I have on my eyelids right now, they don't have a lot of fallout. They do have a kickback when I'm taking my brush and digging the color into the brush to pick up some pigment. But once you tap it off and you start working with the eyeshadow color onto the eyelid i don't see any fallout from the eyelid onto my upper cheeks that's a huge plus so you don't have to really worry when you're working with a lot more deeper bolder shades from this eyeshadow palette if you'd like to see me create more eyeshadow looks from this palette leave me a comment down below this video and that's it for today's first impressions video guys i really hope you enjoy watching this urban decay's on the run first impression palette and if you're someone indian who and you worship lord morgan or you fancy lord morgan like i do then you definitely have to get this eyeshadow palette only for this picture itself <laughs> if i have not mentioned already this urban decay's born to run palette retails for 76 dollars at sephora's website as well as their outlets and you're paying 76 dollars for 21 amazing shades that has a lot of good shimmer sheen and matte shades all packed into one and it has a very handy sturdy mirror that is the size of my face perhaps yes that's how big it is and especially if you're a makeup newbie and you're someone who's beginning to experiment into eyeshadow palette collection this is an eyeshadow palette to own and if you like this video then don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up all that will be needed from you is just one minute to click on the subscribe button right down this video make sure to click on the bell icon next to it just so that you will be updated and notified whenever new videos like this go up on my channel and I shall catch you in my next video.
Bye guys.